Hi everyone, um, I'm here today with, uh, a little bit late on all, but I'm here with my May favourites. Just some of the things that I've been loving throughout the month of May. Um, we've got some beauty, couple of beauty things. Um, we've got one lifestyle slash eBay seller that I want to sing the praises of. So, let's get started. First of all, I'll get my box because I've got things all piled in a box. I'm trying to be more organised when I make videos so I don't have to keep bending down every two minutes. Right, first thing I want to mention was a very late addition. Um, over the last week or so, we've had actually some nice weather in the UK, which makes a change. Um, it's really grey and drizzly today, so it's not very nice, so it looks like maybe well, summer's gone already. I hope not. Um, right, things you should know about me. I do tan, I can tan, I can achieve a tan, but it takes forever. I know people who can sit in the garden for an hour and they'll come in with a golden tan. I'm not like that. Um, I put SP off of my skin, I'm really big on sun care, I use a lot of sun care, um, SPF while well, I'm in the garden and I use it on my face obviously. Um, so I'm quite big on sun tanning, um, sun protection and so on. But I love the sun, the sun is amazing for my achy muscles. Um, if you have any form of muscle pain, um, obviously I've got fibromyalgia, it is amazing, I just love the sun. Um, unfortunately I'm probably not going to get away on holiday this year which is a shame because I could really do with that real burst of heat but so I'm having to rely on the UK weather which isn't always the best so I decided to buy something I think it was late last year I bought it I got it on special late last year and I bought that then because basically I don't like a, a fake tan but I don't particularly like the whole ritual of it I prefer to have my skin turned naturally even though it is damaging but um, yeah, I don't tan that easily. So what I bought was this. Ooh, I don't know how well you can see it. You can't. Right, Gatineau Tan Accelerating Lotion. Now this isn't cheap. I think this is about thirty pounds for this size. But what you can do, and what I've been using it for, um, basically the minute we sort of got out of me, well, sort of halfway through me when we started to get a little bit of warmer weather um, I actually started using this as my body lotion um, I've been testing another product which you know I've probably reviewed by now on the blog but I've been using this as my body lotion every time I've had a shower and it is I'll just show you the tip I always do that right um, I'll show you what it looks like there we go it's quite it's just it's just basically a really quite a thick lotion um, the smell, it basically smells like a lot of gradual tanners. It's got quite an oldy smell. It's not it's not my favourite aspect of it, but as you can see, it leaves a lovely moisture on the skin. Now what this does, it supposedly activates the melanin in your skin and brings it to the surface. So when you do get sunlight and sunshine, um, you tan quicker. Now, I've just been using it as a body lotion, never really thought anything about it. And over the, uh, a few days ago, I was sitting in the garden. And um, it was towards the end of May and through the beginning of June, so I'll mention it now. Um, I was sitting in the garden. I was only there for a couple of hours because it actually clouded over and I thought, oh, I'll just come in. So I was sitting reading and I came in and there were visible tan lines. I don't mean burn lines, I mean tan lines. Um, there was strap marks and I had actually gone a sort of pale browny colour, <laughs> pale goldeny colour rather than my usual pinky red. Now I was using I was using F SPF 30 so in the, even in the UK so that was pretty good so it wasn't burnt, it definitely wasn't red, it was tanned. Now the only thing I can think of that I've made a difference with is this and yay so if that's made a difference on a couple of hours in the UK God knows, no, knows what difference it could make if we were abroad but I'm going to keep using this um, it's a good moisturizer it's a really nice moisturizer you can use it as an after sun you can even put it on your face as well um, you can use it as an after sun because it's quite gentle so um, yeah this is going to be my go-to body lotion in the summer as I say the only thing I'm not overly chuffed about is the smell but yeah it just smells it smells kind of like a gradual tanner wood, but without the biscuity smell because obviously there's no colour in it. But yeah, really enjoying that at the moment. I'm definitely going to use that a lot more over the summer. Right, next thing, we'll pick another beauty product. Right, 
Now this, if you read my blog, as I hope you all do, link below, um, I actually review a lot of beauty products. And this was something that was actually sent to me by a brand um, called My Pure. Every month um, I can choose two products from their website for free and they'll send me them and I can review them. And I was sent this in May and I have to say I've loved it. It is the Lavera Nature Cosmetics Fine Loose Mineral Powder. So what it is, it's basically a loose powder. Now I know there's all this hoo-ha about loose powder, that's what it looks like. It's a translucent, so in an ideal world it should go with any skin tone. Um, it's really nice. It's made foundation that lasts longer, that doesn't, the shine hasn't come through as quickly. It doesn't look powdery because it's so fine. It's even got a slight aromatherapy sort of lavendery scent. Um, it's good for the environment, there's no nasties in it, and it's cruelty free. Um, I've done a full review of it on my blog, which I'll link to it below for you. So that's what that is. Now, um, next items I'm going to talk about are from eBay. Now, I don't have a specific eBay... I don't have a specific eBay seller here. But um, if you search in makeup brushes, you'll find loads of high-end, usually from the Far East, um, makeup brush dupes. Some are out-and-out copies, some are dupes. Now, these are dupes. Now a little block quite a while ago I saw an Estee Lauder brush um, and it was really wide tip flat brush and I think it was for foundation and I really liked it but it was about £40 and I was like can't justify that. So I had a look on eBay and this is what I came up with. Now is this one, now apologies I've just used this one. So as you can see it's quite wide, there's my hand for scale, um, it's flat tip, flat, flat bristles. And basically what you can use it for is to blend your foundation, you can use it to contour, blusher, anything you like basically. I've been using this one for foundation today. I've also got a slightly smaller one and these are only a couple of pounds each and I really really like this and how it's performed. So yes, very impressed with these. Um, as I say, just search makeup brushes on the internet on eBay and you can find all different types of brushes. And as I say, these were less than a couple of pounds each so that wasn't bad. Right, let's see what's next. Now, we've got two products from the same company. Um, and a little while ago, I went to an event at Into Metro Centre. It was the Into Metro Centre Style Garden event. It was basically to showcase some spring, summer fashion and beauty looks. And one of the um, exhibitors as such that we got to meet were from Kiehl's. Now, I hadn't tried a lot from Kiehl's. I tried something called drawing paste a long time ago, which was brilliant at getting rid of spots. Um, but that's discontinued. But we had a thing and we were invited into the House of Fraser counter um, to basically talk to somebody and get a skin analysis. So I went for my skin analysis um, and I was recommended some products and they gave me some samples, um, on counter samples to try. And I went back for a facial um, a couple of weeks later and I have to say it was the most amazing experience of my life. My skin literally glowed. It was absolutely crazy. It was so healthy looking. It felt silky soft. It felt amazing. Um, and basically two of the products they recommended were the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate and the Kiehl's Rare Earth Pore Minimising Lotion. Now, I've subsequently bought this. We'll talk about this first. The Midnight Recovery Concentration is basically an oil-like serum that you put on your skin overnight. Um, it comes in a dropper bottle and they've given me a little dropper bottle sample here to try. Now, I've actually switched up to using something else which is similar, but I never ever thought that my skin would like oil. Um, how wrong was I? I have oily skin, my skin is greasy, it's, um, I'm prone to the odd breakout still, despite being in my late 30s, but this is amazing. It basically, it doesn't feel oily, you put a couple of drops on, you pat it into your skin, the next morning you wake up and you're literally, my skin was like silk. Um, it was so soft, it was even, I never broked out, I, I never broke out, that's awful English. I didn't break out with it, um, 
it smells lovely it's got loads of lavender and essential oils and things and it just makes you think of sleep it is amazing i think it's about 39 or 49 pounds for a bottle full-size bottle but once i've finished what i'm using which i do like by the way i'm testing something for a brand and it's very similar but it's a little bit more oilier but I'm liking that too. But once I finish that, I will probably buy a full size one of this because I love this. Um, the day one, not so much because I just find it grease, slightly greasy when I'm using a makeup. But um, this is amazing. I love this. Um, so basically shows never believe the hype, the thing that basically says if you have oily skin, you shouldn't put oil on your skin. I've done it. And believe me, it's made a difference. It really has. I've had less breakouts. The works. 100% love that. Now, something else that I was given a little sample of. I've still got the re remnants of the sample there. Is the Rare Earth Pore Minimising Lotion. Now, I was recommended a few products in the Pore Minimising Lotion. I've also bought the mask as well. Which I'll probably end up showing you in a future video. Now, this is the Rare Earth Pore Minimising Lotion with Amazon White Clay. I'll show you a bit of sample from here rather than pump, pumping it out. It's basically what it looks like. It's a white, very sort of, just a sort of, just a white cream basically. It's non-greasy, it's not thick, it's not heavy, it's not silicone-y, which a lot of pore products are. Um, it's just a really nice daily moisturiser. You can, you also use it at night, night, night laid on top of the Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which I have done sometimes if my skin's felt a bit of extra dry. Um, but this is amazing. Um, my foundation has lasted longer with it. My makeup has lasted long with it. I've managed to wear no makeup at all. And my skin hasn't gone really, really oily. It is at the minute because it's quite warm in here, unfortunately. But, um... This is just lovely. I really like this. It doesn't have much of a discernible scent. A little goes a very long way. Um, yeah, it says minimises a large pores and refines skin texture. So basically it's a daily moisturiser. So you can layer it up with an SPF if you need to. But um, yeah, I really, really like this. Hence, I bought it. Um, it's nice. It feels nice on my skin. One of my big things is I can't stand heavy creams on my skin. I can't stand things that take a decade to absorb into my skin. Um, but this just doesn't, it absorbs straight away, it's really really nice and I love it, um, I bought it and pretty much I intend to buy everything that was used on me in the facial, um, I've got two, I've got two things so far but I guarantee I will be buying more, um, I also tried the turmeric face mask which was lovely, um, I can just about reach, I've got a tiny little dregs of that one left, that's brilliant if your skin needs a rev big revitalise. Um, I've been using the Midnight Recovery Eye, a sample of that, which is also amazing. Um, I've got lots of, I've, but the thing is, I've got lots of products to use up first, and I will, which I will try and use them up first, rather than buying new things and ignoring what I've already got. So I'm going to try and finish them, and then I will be buying a few more things from the Kiehl's range that I was recommended. But yes, I thoroughly recommend it, and if you if you're interested, then I believe they offer a free skincare analysis. And the facials, I must admit, I got my facial as complimentary, but um, I, I bought product anyway, and I think they, they're usually about £10-£15, which is redeemable against product anyway, so there you go. But it was really good, I would really recommend it. So that was it, there wasn't a lot of beauty products this month, but um, I also want to talk about um, an eBay seller. Um, now, I think it's Man is it Mandy Max 9481? Not a Mandy Max 91. I can't remember. I really should have looked this up. Um, I will link it to her sh eBay shop below. Um, hasn't paid me, don't even know her from Adam, but I've bought a few things from her and I really love them. So, first thing I'm going to show you is the necklace I've got on. It's got like, tiny little heart charms coming off it. And I also got another one which I wore in a recent video, which you might have noticed already. Um, and it's similar, but it's got a thicker chain and it's got a little circle on. More heart pendants. Um, I've also got a star necklace from her. And I've got these little bracelets as well, little bead bracelets. All elasticated with little charms on flowers and angels and things. Now the, what they remind me of is Bibi Bijou. I love the look of BB Bijou pieces, but to be honest, they're not cheap and they're not precious metal or anything, so they're not really that cheap. But she does very similar pieces starting at about 3 dollars um, I'll link to her below. Um, 
she is a local, she is an um, English, she's an English seller. Um, I think she comes from Middlesbrough, I'm not sure. But the stuff is always beautifully packaged and I'm definitely going to buy more pieces from her because I really like what she does. Um, I think it's all handmade, I think she makes it all herself as well. But um, yeah, don't know from Adam, but would thoroughly recommend. I'll link to her eBay shop below so you can have a look and see what she does. But um, I've had nothing but amazing service from her. She's been really good eBay. Um, I mean, I've got things within three days, which is really good considering the post. So that was that. Um, there's a couple of links to my blog below to individual blog posts on things that I've done and what have you. Um, so don't forget to check those out. Um, yeah, they were my favourites. Um, I think a couple of those, a few of those products are going to be favourites for a long time to come. But obviously for me, I will try and come up with something new, which shouldn't be too hard. I'm, I'm liking a lot of things I'm using at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions on any of the products that I've mentioned, or um, you've got any recommendations for anything, eBay sellers, moisturizers, makeup brushes that you love, by all means let me know. Um, thanks for watching, don't forget to thumbs up please, pretty please, and subscribe, I'd love it if you subscribe, and I'll see you soon, bye.